here. <clears throat> oh. Gross. Oh. According to Janine, tarot by Janine, crow is a good sign. <clears throat> I don't know. I killed a bunch of them one time. Forgive me, crows. I'm sorry. My brothers, my half brothers, and my dad, we all, they took me out at night, gave me a shotgun. There's, I guess, all these crows were just, there's thousands of them <clears throat> in the neighborhood. It was like, do something. So somehow we showed up, <clears throat> pointed the guns up in the air, and on a count of three, pulled the trigger, and we could hear little crow bodies falling over the place. So I'm sorry, I didn't know any better. In Jesus' name, please forgive me. Look at that nice sunrise. I can't be a hunter. I just it ain't gonna work for me. Peace. What is this nature walk today? Peace. <laughs> away please go away from us we don't want you anyways <clears throat> I mean not the geese <laughs> I'm talking about the ones with teeth <sighs> anyway I believe I truly believe we are going to be vegetarian it's just the way we're supposed to be Adam and Eve were put in a garden a uh, garden there's no meat I do believe that's what we'll be getting back to. I can't. I'm, then, I'm excited about that, but they're going to have to make it real easy because people like me just, it's too hard to go vegetarian right now. It's just too hard. They make it, they'll make it easy though. <clears throat> they'll make it so you go to your replicator and ask for a steak and you'll have a great steak and there won't be any animal in it at all. Most of the higher level extraterrestrials don't even eat. They've gotten to the point. Oh, shit. Wow, I know you didn't see that. Down there. Two deers. <laughs> what is this? This is supposed to be nature day. <clears throat> two full-grown deer just went bounding off the, hot, the runway. Wow. Okay. And we've seen crows. We've seen geese. We've seen deer. We've seen dogs. Dog. Uh, I'm getting a little worried here. Uh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. I see deer up here all the time. Anyways. What the hell am I talking about? Uh, oh, vegetarian. Yeah, that's... It's just all going to change. It's all going to change. All going to change. We're going to have clean water. They've got water in Antarctica. <clears throat> Do you know that Arctic is north and Antarctic is south? Never knew that. Antarctica, they have all this spacecraft they're flying and all this stuff. But they got water down there. But extraterrestrials come from other planets and dimensions to, to take the water because it's so pure. <clears throat> it's as pure as back in the Adam and Eve days or maybe even before. And it's like you drink it and you're healed or you get younger and all kinds of stuff. It's, it's there. <clears throat> you, know, you know, Antarctica is, is a no-fly zone. You, you, got, you ever ask yourself why? Why are they worried about us seeing a bunch of ice? Well, it's because there's a lot more going on down there. <clears throat> so, but... They've been trying to poison us to death for years and years and thousands of years. Powdering the air and the water and the food and the G with the M and, the, and then the O. Poison, just total garbage. And we've been eating it, drinking it, and breathing it. But we're pretty helpless. We're outnumbered. We couldn't fight against the negative ETs who linked up with the negative beings here both third dimensional and uh, beyond third I don't know 
<clears throat> but that's why the positive ETs are being able to help us now because the negatives have overstepped <clears throat> their boundaries. So anyway, utopia is coming. I just don't know how quick. Uh, it could be, you could see some real positive changes within weeks, maybe even days. That's the only thing that keeps me hanging on. Uh, you know, if you're saying months, I'm real depressed. If you're saying years, I'm super depressed. But uh, it just really looks like stuff could have just any day could cut loose. And I keep saying, if you see the military take over, this is very good, very, very good. And people keep thinking they're going to see something like <clears throat> Hero and then Shima, something like that happen. But if you do realize it's the good guys and they're only uh, removing negative targets. <clears throat> fuck are they staring at? Ollie, what are you looking at? Shit. Ollie. Anyways. Playboy Mansion is one of those targets. Can you believe it? The White House is one of those targets. <coughs> the, uh, what's that where the queen stays? Where, where that building is, is one of the targets. They want to make it look like World War III is breaking out so they can have an excuse for announcing that they're, the military is in control. But they've already, they've been in control for, well, since Mr. T was elected anyway. Probably before that, but, and I mean the good, the good, the good, the good military. Most of the military is on the good side now. I mean, there might be some holdouts because of certain generals who are, <clears throat> they're hanging on because they got no choice. Because if they give in, they're probably going to be <clears throat> removed from the planet, if you know what I mean. So that's why they have, these bad guys have such a death grip on this stuff because for them, it is the end, and they don't believe in life after death, so <clears throat> they uh, really are terrified, so that's why they keep hanging on, but anyways, <clears throat> I was going to talk about something else today, but I can't remember what it was, this is Monday, Monday, number one day for people dying, don't die today, it'll get better, I swear, it's your it's a miracle you're alive right now. This stuff has never, ever happened, ever, on planet Earth before, and you are alive, and you are seeing it. Just keep breathing. That's all I say. Just keep breathing. Bye.